Hello everybody, my name is H&M and welcome to episode 1 of Advanced Commands. In episode 0 we just quickly went over what they are, how to set them up, and how to use them and how to refresh them. Now we're actually going to create something interesting. So we are exactly where we last uh, ended, so we have our tutorial and in there we have the example function. So let's actually um, rename this function and let's close out of this, rename this to um, what's a nice maths operation, let's see, apps. All right, we're gonna do a simple maths operation called apps, which is the absolute value of something. We're gonna call this maths real quick, so it makes sense. So we have our command maths apps. In here, we're just gonna delete all, all only this. So this is gonna change to tutorial command maths apps. So absolute values are going to be a thing now. Um, so what we need uh, to do is basically have a command here. Let's also just change this to maths apps. And so we can grant it. What we need to do is basically have a, have a number, see if it's negative and just invert its sign. It's very simple. So first we need a scoreboard objectives, add. And we're just gonna use uh, simple variable names instead of register names, which are not very very easy to read for you guys. So I'm just going to keep it a little bit simple and we're just going to call this output. Variables, objectives, add output. And I call it variables because it's kind of variable. Dummy, and we'll call it output. We'll set the um, objectives, set display to the sidebar. So when we have a score for it, we can see it. So scoreboard players add at p output zero, and we can see the output. And so we will have to use something in that output. So in this episode, we're basically gonna go over variable management and how to use operations and how to basically use scoreboard to make calculations. And this is all run in one tick. It's run on the stack and so it might overflow and we have certain things we have to manage. And every, every single command in this is run every single time. And we can also use recursion. <laughs> to just plop a few things out there uh, related to command uh, or related to coding. So first off we need to take our score and we gotta check scoreboard players and what we need to do is operation at s um, output times equals and negative one, all right, at s, neg one. So we want to basically do something like this, where we um, change the output by uh, multiplying it by negative one. Because we know in uh, when we take the absolute value of something, so let me use this real quick. Um, JavaScript is just an amazing calculator way better than Apple's integrated calculator, it's complete garbage because it's just so annoying to use. Anyway, we know that if we take a value like minus that and we times it by negative one or we just do times times one, that the value we get is basically the same except the sign. So because a negative number times a negative number is a positive number and it's basically the same. And so knowing that we can simply just multiply it by negative one to change it to a positive number. But we don't want to change it if it's already positive. So we have to do execute at s, basically our cells, and we have to give it a parameter. Normally I would put the parameters in scoreboard itself, but because we have the, the selector twice, it's kind of annoying because then it's annoying to read. And we just want it once, so execute at s, when the output, so the score of the output um, is zero or less. So let's do this negative one. So it's, if it's ne negative one or, or smaller, we want to do it times negative one, all right? Um, but I am um, just assuming that you kind of know how scoreboards work. 
this will range from negative 1 to the smallest integer possible which is minus just for the curious people and you this is the smallest number that will be accepted by the scoreboards you'll have to do it with that we don't have comma numbers we don't have any fancy numbers or strings anything we only have integers just keep that in mind so now we know what this does is basically executing if the player actually has the score um, of negative one or lower then we want to just scoreboard place operation at s then the output is basically the variable name and we want to times equals that by negative one and this variable we don't have created yet but just imagine this is just negative one as we can see like this it's basically just times equals negative one but we can't say that so we have to do it like this and so we want to take our variable output and times it by negative one so basically this reads um, whatever the value is in this case negative three all right that is smaller than negative one and what do we want to do with it an operation all right our output times equals which basically is the output times negative one and this this basically is just output times equals negative one and we have negative one set to negative one and output equals negative three and we can see in our magical calculator the output is three and this is basically the same as just saying equals output times negative one and we run this it's also three so this we don't have we don't have this created yet so i'm going to show you real quick how to use um, temporary variables we need to create this variable so this is a temporary variable we want this to be deleted afterwards so what we do here is we basically say scoreboard objectives add negative one dummy negative one this is just the display name it doesn't really matter we have to set it as dummy which it basically means that nothing can change except commands negative one is the name of the variable and this this just specifies that we want to make a new variable so we just set this all right now we just put this over here again and just remove it we don't need the other specifies here we just want to remove the variable again so it's not no longer existent because we only need it in the, the in the command here now this variable is uninitialized that means basically what we have is something like all right neg one we just specified negative one all right we can't find a variable all right let's initialize it and it's undefined so what we want to do in the next uh, statement is just set this to negative one so it's actually negative one and we can just copy that over here let's just copy this real quick because we're gonna use a lot of the same um, scoreboard players set says when you delete like half the line anyway scoreboard players set at s negative one negative one so with this it should work so we save it make sure make sure you save it and you check for errors when there's no errors left we can go in here and hit f3t to refresh and our output will basically not change because something happened and it doesn't work why does it not work why does it not work and to debug them you can just put the command output back to true and we can see it only does these two things that's unfortunate it only does this and then it's done scoreboard objective objectives aha there's our error and that's stupid but basically we have to create the correct name here otherwise we don't have any output we don't have anything sh saying there is anything wrong and that's the only problem with this debugging is an absolute hell yes so let's f3t again and now it should work and boom we look at the the thing we see all right we ob we added the objective negative one we set the score to negative one for the player we can basically do this for every player but we will do that for every player individually anyway so it doesn't really matter we uh, apply this operation over here where we have times equals negative one then we removed negative one we because we don't longer need it so it's a local variable 
and then we exit out of the command and we can run it again and we can see 3 doesn't change because it's already positive. So we can set this to a nice number like that. We hit it and the sign is removed. We change it to negative 0. It's 0 anyway, so it's changing. It's not changing anything. You see the operation is not done anywhere. Here it is, here it isn't. So 0 is also considered a positive number because there is no real negative 0 and positive 0 and we just do a ridiculously high number and we can see it doesn't change it. We do a ridiculously large or a ridiculously small number. 21474836467. We can see it will do it correctly. And <laughs> if we do this, it won't do anything. You, you'll think, why doesn't it change? That's because the max value is actually this. This is the max value. And basically, if we just do it this, it's not a valid number, it's too big. And what it basically does, it loops back to negative, so it doesn't change it. That's the only single number that's flawed, and this will just forever be negative. So that's the only thing that you have to consider. And if you want this also to work, we'll have to make a special case here that says, all right, your number is too small, we can't convert it for you or something, and just error out or something. But I think this is enough for the first episode and showing how to use variables, how to local, how to use local variables, how scoreboards kind of work in this. And I hope you understand it now a little bit and how this can be compared to a language like assembly or JavaScript or whatever language you like to program in. This is basically sort of a programming language. Anyway, in the next episode, we're going to go over if and else statements and after that we'll do looping which is not real looping because it's recursion but it can be compared with looping kind of difficult in this and it makes a big mess of your code um, so in the next episode we're going to do test cases if and else statements we already kind of did that with this if this is true then do this but we also want else statement and all that kind of stuff so yeah uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you have any questions, just leave them in the um, description below, or in the comments below. In the description, I have a few links, as always, with some more info. And also, I have the basic um, skeleton, which is basically just this. You can copy it from screen right now. This will already be in the description below, so you can start off with that skeleton, and so you don't have to type it over if you're lazy, like me. Anyway, that's it. See you next time. Bye-bye.